Here we go, I got one. Looks like a small mouth. Ooh, got another one, that's a bigger one. Awesome. Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's creek fishing video features footage from two different fishing trips. So the video is gonna start with footage from yesterday's fishing. Um, I found a little creek I never fished before and I wandered in there and did some exploring and I caught some fish, but unfortunately I started really late in the afternoon so I had to turn back before it got dark. I'm gonna actually go back to that place uh, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go there early and spend all day fishing there. And so the second half of this video is gonna feature footage from that. I know there's a lot of fish there. There's some really nice drop offs in that creek. It's just a really, Beautiful location, very remote, very peaceful. I'm looking forward to um, spending the day there and doing some more exploring. I'm gonna walk uh, as far upstream as I can and hopefully we have a good day of fishing. So next, I'm gonna show you what I'm using for bait and how I have it rigged. So that's what I'm fishing with today. I'm using the Helgramite again, and I'm fishing it with a 1 10th ounce jig. That's the Ned Rig jig from Z-Man. Green pumpkin is the color, and that's how you want to hook it. You want the Helgramite to be nice and straight when it's hooked up. You don't want it to be the back end sticking up like that or sticking down. You want it to be nice and straight, not too much of the hook sticking out, and that's going to catch you more fish. Oh, we'll see if there's any bass in this little creek or not. It looks kind of narrow so far from what I can see, but might be some deeper areas. If I can find some bends in the creek, it could be some nice drop-offs. Very sandy in here. You can see how, how clear the water is. A lot of times little creeks like this can be home to a lot of really nice sized bass. As you can see in my other videos, I fished uh, creeks that pretty much about the same size as this one and caught some really nice sized fish. Say so I walked just a little ways upstream from where this dumps into the river and this spot here looks interesting. You got some current coming along, sort of like a damming effect with that log. So there's a nice drop off there. Then on both sides of the current, there's a nice drop off on the other side of the bank, by the other bank. So I'm gonna take a few casts here and see if I can hook in anything. If there's anything even there or right over there. Here we go, I got one. What is it? Looks like a smallmouth. Awesome. So that is the first smallmouth of the day. I'm using the obsidian color, that's that solid black color. Awesome. You hit the Helgramite pretty hard. There's a nice little um, drop off right there. Like I pointed out, the water comes along there and it kind of slows down into a deeper pool and there's, there seems to be, I'm getting a lot of bites. I'm gonna take some more casts into there. So let them go. And the river is actually, uh, the main river that this connects to is just right around the corner there. So I've only been in here for like 10 minutes. So that's definitely a good sign there's there's smallmouth in here so I'm gonna try here a little longer and then I'll explore further upstream see if I can catch anything up there oh well, I took some more casts in that spot there where I caught that smallmouth and didn't catch anything didn't really have any more bites so I'm gonna make my way further upstream and explore more of this creek before it gets too late into the day here so far I like what I see it's a beautiful creek lots of minnows everywhere I don't know if you guys can see that but there's minnows all along the creek bottom. I'm just a little further upstream from where I caught that smallmouth. And uh, I'm just doing some exploring and you can see there's some big boulders sticking out of the water. 
So I'm definitely going to take a few casts around those boulders and see if there's any bass hanging around. This is a really uh, beautiful little creek here. And there's actually some shade cover along here too. There's a lot of overhanging trees. Well, these are typically places I like to uh, stop and take some casts when I see stuff like this in the water because that's, that's what smallmouth love is they love, ooh, here we go, right there. Right when I was reeling it in. I can get a good grip on them here. All right. Just a little guy, little baby smallmouth. Here he is. Uh, just like I said, they, what I was about to say is they, they smallmouth love these areas like this. I'll let them go. So that's smallmouth number two. It was just right when I was reeling it in, it was not far from where I'm standing. All right, so I've walked quite a ways upstream from where I caught that bass. You can see here, there's a nice drop off in the creek bend. This is exactly what I was hoping to find and opens up into a big pool here. Check that out, that looks really interesting. You see how slow the water's moving through there? You got a tree in the water there, nice big drop off in the center. So I'm gonna fish this entire creek bend and see if I can pull some bass out of here. And it's possible there could be northern pike in here too because there are northern pike in, in the river that this connects to. So it's possible there could be a pike or two. I don't know if they grab a halgrimite, but we'll see uh, See if anybody's home. Yeah, I'll take a couple casts down here first to the left of this tree in the shaded area there. I can see a bunch of bait fish swimming around. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Yep, I got something. Looks like a smallmouth. Awesome. Right away on the first cast in the spot. Nice. Very nice. I'm happy with that. Not a river beast, but I'll take it. So that's the second smallmouth. Go ahead and let him go. Here he goes. Try it right over here. Oh, here we go. There's one. Another smallmouth. No big one so far, but still a lot of fun to catch. Better than getting skunked. So that's three bass so far on the Helgramite. I don't know if that's the same one or not. Who cares? See you later. So check this out found this cool feather looks like it's probably from a hawk I would say that's my guess it's actually another one over here there's a couple of them see right there some smaller ones but that's pretty cool I'm gonna keep that one it's unfortunate I started fishing this creek so late in the day I wasn't planning on even coming here at all today I was fishing in a river not far from here and that didn't work out and I decided to come here on a whim at the last minute so I'm gonna actually come back to the spot and get some more video footage here because I only fish in this little creek for probably about one hour and I caught what three bass two three bass and I had a lot of other bites too so the next clips you'll see are gonna be my second uh, visit to this creek fishing all right so this is my second visit to the creek I'm going to explore this area and see if I can catch some bass. Uh, this part right here looks interesting. It's cool. You got an island in the middle. You got the creek going around on both sides. I'm going to go down. Actually, I'll probably go down this section over here and uh, see if there's a nice pool on the other side of that. Got nice current coming along. And then the water clearly drops off right there where that tree's in the water. So I'm definitely going to take a few casts there and then i don't know if you can see but over there it looks like some really slow moving water probably a nice drop off there too no bites there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to 
from a distance, I'll cast it into there. I don't want to get too close and scare away any fish. Just retrieve it against the current nice and slow. Oh yeah, got a fish. Looks like a smallmouth. Awesome. So I know there's bass around. So I took quite a few casts and didn't have any luck up until this point. So that's definitely reassuring. Hey, little ones become big ones. I'll go ahead and let them go. I didn't catch any more fish here, but I'm gonna go on the other side of this tree and take a few casts over there by that log. That looks interesting. Try it right down there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got one that's bigger than the other one. That's cool. That's two bass. I've only been here for probably 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes tops. Here he is. Just a little guy, but why not? Still fun. I'm catching fish. And this is a really beautiful creek. It's very remote. It's very difficult to get back in here. I had to walk through a jungle. Uh, I mean, you can see all the overhanging stuff. I mean, it's water levels higher because of all the rain we had, but nice little smallmouth. So we'll take another cast in that same spot and see if maybe there's a bigger one down there. So I had a few bites. Yeah, right now. Here's another one. Awesome. Is that the same bass? It's possible. It was almost immediately the Helger might hit the, uh, hit the water and he was already on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him go over there Hopefully, actually, I'll just throw them a little further downstream. Well, I'm glad I decided to take a few casts here because it seems like that hole right there has a lot of fish in it. Unless that was the same one. Of course, it could be. I'll take another cast right in that same spot, right over there. Oh. Ooh. Got another one. That's a bigger one. Awesome. Yeah, that is... Actually, not a bad bass. Yeah, that's definitely not the same fish. So it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. So I'm gonna throw him over there and see if there's maybe, see if maybe if there's one down there that's even bigger than this one. Each one will get bigger, hopefully. We'll throw them over there. All right, so I'm gonna throw it down in the magic hole again, and hopefully we catch one that's even bigger than the other ones. It's that one spot right there. Yep, just had another bite. Something tapped it, and you got that log in the water, which attracts fish, and plus, you know, you got the overhanging bushes and provides a little uh, protection, a sort of a hiding place for the fish, makes them feel safe. They like to hide and 
shaded water. Of course, today it's overcast too, and that's helping with the fishing and the water levels are up. So I've got another one. Awesome. Well, that might be the same one from earlier. I don't know. Who cares, right? It's still fun. And today I'm using my seven foot medium light. Uh, this is the Shimano SLX. Uh, I've used this rod in all my other videos and I've discovered that I actually lose less fish when I use this rod because it's got the extra fast action. That might just only be with the using the Helgramite, but I've noticed that when I fish with the Helgramite and I use a different rod like uh, that doesn't have the extra fast action that bends more in the middle instead of more at the tip like this one does, I lose more fish. So maybe it's just with the Ned rigs. I think using Ned rigs, it's probably better to use a rod that has fast action or at least, you know, extra fast or fast. I didn't catch any more fish out of that hole, so I'm gonna continue exploring downstream and see if we can find some other areas with some deeper water. Uh, I think it's probably too shallow over here, but I might investigate this because just like on the other side of this island, there's Nice little pool on that curve there. This one might be too shallow though. Or maybe not. There's actually a decent drop off there. So I think I probably will take a cast in there and you never know, there could be a fish in there. So throw it right back in there. Yep. I got something. Oh, he got off. It looked like it was a creek chub. A creek, a creek chub grabbed the Helgramite. I saw the body and it It looked exactly like a creek chub. It, it wasn't a bass. It had a white, silvery looking body, kind of long and lanky looking, so I, I'm pretty sure it was a creek chub. So we'll take one more cast, why not? As you can see back there, there's a nice little, right where the water comes around there, kind of almost like a whirlpool effect a little bit. I'll try it right, right over there. Whoa, yep. Oh wow, look at that, it's a big creek chub, jumbo creek chub. Wow, that's cool, I've actually never caught a creek chub on a Helgramite. That's a, actually a nice size one. Yeah, they make those weird noises all the time. That was a surprise catch, I was not expecting to catch a creek chub on a Helgramite. So you figure if you're gonna catch, if you're gonna catch a creek chub on a Helgramite, they're probably gonna be a little bit bigger to be able to fit the whole bait in their mouth. But yeah, I'll take it, that's still cool. So yeah, now I know for sure the, the other one I missed was definitely a creek chub. So I know I saw the body and I could tell. I've caught many of those. I know all too well what they look like. Well, that was it for that spot. Just that jumbo creek chub. So I'm going to continue making my way downstream and try to find some deeper water, try to get up on some big bass. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful place to fish. I'm really enjoying just walking in the water here. It's so far really easy to uh, wade fish. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look at the, look at the scenery here.
I walked a little ways, I'm exploring, and uh, right here on the other side of the creek, there's a nice drop off. It's probably almost up to my way, so I'm going to take some casts downstream and see if there's any fish hanging out in that dro on that drop off over there. And I like it because there's not a not super heavy current right here either, so it's easier to fish the Helgramite. Whoa, yep. Oh, I had one. Oh no, I still got one. It's like he, I don't know what happened. Is it a smallmouth? Awesome. So I knew there was gonna be bass in here because the, there's a, a really nice drop off. A lot of rocks and boulders and stuff. That's what the bass like. Awesome. I'm catching a decent amount of fish here. I haven't been here for very long. So I'm gonna continue making my way downstream and explore. You can see how clear the water is, but it looks like the water's gonna to start to get deep in this section over here. So I'm gonna stop over here and take some casts. This is cool. You can see the tree in the creek and then around it, it looks like the water's a little deeper. So I'm gonna take a couple casts kind of near that tree before I get too close. Might as well just see if there's any bass hanging around there. Oh yeah. Ooh, I just had a bite. I definitely, oh. <laughs> it's funny, he spit it out and then grabbed it when I was reeling it in. It's a little guy. Little creek smolly. There he is. You know, I'm really excited to fish further up, or further down, I should say. Um, the water looks like it probably gets deeper over there. You can see all these uh, bushes and stuff that are in the water, and because of all the heavy rain we had last night and this morning, the water level is even higher, so you got all these, these small bugs and everything that are falling into the water. The fish are probably gonna be hanging around those bushes. So, uh, hopefully, Oh yeah, right away. Got something. Oh, it's another bass. Awesome. Yeah, it was almost immediately he grabbed it. Here he is. Little baby smallmouth. Yeah, right when I said that and I threw it over there, because if the fish are, you know, that's the one good thing about fishing right after heavy rain is that it just stirs up the water and the fish are, you can see all the bugs and stuff right now. I can see bugs all over the place in the water floating around and grass and all kinds of stuff. And it just gets the uh, fish, um, increases the fish activity, I think. You know, when you're fishing with these helgramites, you just want to always make sure that the helgramite is straight. I think I mentioned that at the beginning, but you don't want it, you know, you want it to look like that. You don't want too much of the hook exposed and you want the helgramite to be, the body to be flat. And you want to try to hook it right in the center of the body like that and keep the hook clean. There's fish all over around there, right in front of that bush. Whoa, here we go. Awesome. Another small mouth. That one's a little bigger. Get him back into the water. 
Looks like this one's been caught a couple times. You can see the, the mouth is kind of torn up. There's so many little bass in this creek and they're, they're grabbing it when I'm reeling it in. There's a lot of debris in front of that bush. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of boulders and sticks and stuff over there. Whoa, whoa yeah. Awesome, right in front of me. Another smallmouth. That's not the same bass that I caught earlier that I caught. The one that I just caught, that's not the same one because it doesn't have that uh, torn up mouth. The other one had, the, had a big hole in its lip. You can tell it's been caught a couple times. This one doesn't have that. So far, no big ones, mostly uh, smaller ones, but like I said earlier, little ones become big ones. I'm sure there's some, if we can find some deeper holes in this creek, there's gonna be some bigger bass in them. I'm gonna walk a little further downstream and take some casts as I walk. It seems like mostly, you know, this area, it's a lot of small bass. Uh, and it kind of slowed down. I took a couple more casts there and didn't catch anything. So I'm gonna move just a little ways down. The water's definitely starting to get a little bit deeper. So hopefully it won't be too deep. I'll be able to continue walking comfortably. There we go. I got him. Another smallmouth. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, that's a nice sized bass right there. Check that out. I think that's probably the biggest bass so far. And maybe. I mean, it's definitely definitely bigger than the last uh, two I caught. get him back into the water. So right over there is where I caught those bass by those bushes and I had to walk over here to retrieve my bait because I got snagged on that log in the water there and uh, the water drops off quite a bit along here. It's actually past my waist especially because we had all that heavy rain. The water levels are a lot higher now. You can see all this all this grass and stuff is normally not even underwater and it's totally submerged almost. It's hard to fish in this spot because there's a lot of weeds, so I'm actually gonna move further down and try to get away from these weeds and try to get back into the um, into the sandy areas. I think it's just gonna be a little easier to fish. Well, I'm walking around the creek bend right now, and this is really sketchy because it's actually pretty deep because of the rain, and I do not want to dunk my gear, so I might have to turn the camera off and make my way around. This is a true adventure here getting through this stuff. Everything is flooded and it is very difficult to walk. It is really wild back in here. It's like a jungle. Sounds like maybe there's a, like a small waterfall or something over there. I can hear, uh, hear water um, draining maybe off the edge of those logs or something up ahead. So I'm gonna check that out. So yeah, it looks like a big log jam created a waterfall here. You can see there's a whirlpool in the back, some nice deep water below that. So I'm gonna, try to make my way around that. It's easier to get around if I just walk through here, I can get around it. And this is easy. Walking towards the end of this uh, little feeder creek, I'm gonna walk back upstream. 
and check out that uh, that waterfall from that log jam. So I walked up to that waterfall. Pretty cool. Got some calm water in the back right outside the current, so there could definitely be a bass in this spot here. So I'm gonna see if anything is in there. Oh, yep, yep, there is one. <laughs> awesome. They're all about the same size so far today, but. Yeah, I'm having a really fun time. It's really fun to explore new places like this. And you find cool stuff like this, little waterfalls, catching bass. It's actually lost my Helgramite earlier. I had to put a new one on and get them back in the water. And it's tricky right here because there's a lot of debris in the water, big boulders. And I saw, I think there's a, ooh, I got another one. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same one. Catching smallmouth below a mini waterfall. Get him back in the water. Oh, there he goes. Well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun creek fishing. I got to explore a new place, actually two different sections of this creek. So the beginning of the video was in a completely different spot that was closer to the river that this dumps into. And this is way more upstream. So I wanted to kind of compare the two spots. And I thought actually this place would be maybe a little bit easier to get to, but that actually ended up not being the case. It was very difficult to get into this location and as well as the other one they're not easy to get to i had to walk through a total jungle so that that wasn't fun but um it ended up being worth it because i did catch a lot of bass had a lot of fun just being in the water enjoying you know the outdoors and it's still beautiful weather i mean it's late september the water's still warm enough to wade fish and that waterfall was uh, totally unexpected i, I didn't you know, that was a hidden gem. That was really cool to find that. If you guys liked the videos, uh, drop me a like, subscribe if you want to see future creek fishing videos. I'll be putting out more soon. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.